he paints. Hey folks, welcome back to Keith Prince. This month, I'm building and painting all the Primaris Marines from my Dark Imperium box sets. With that and a full-time job, I'm having trouble keeping up with the videos, so this week, and probably next, I am mostly just doing time lapses. If you don't feel like watching the whole video, I've included explanations of what I'm doing at the beginning of each chapter, so you can skip ahead if you like. My Space Marine chapter is called The Imperial Lions, and their chapter symbol is a lion rampant. As the title of the video suggests, I'm modeling custom heraldry in Blender and printing them on my 3D printer to then be attached to my Space Marine's pauldrons. I started with a plane with a subdivision surface modifier, then I positioned vertices, extruded edges, and repeated until the body was blocked in. I did my best to put edges where there were interior lines on my drawing, though the claws didn't work out, so I decided to worry about them later. I then extruded faces vertically and in different parts to create recesses, giving the line the bas-relief look I'm going for. To get rid of the lines where I didn't want them, I just merged the vertices back together. I spent a fair amount of time trying to use the boolean modifier to cut out spaces for the claws, but it wasn't working, and I just ended up using sculpting tools to push some vertices around to make the claws more visible. I hadn't applied the subdivision surface modifier yet, so I had to come back and fix it later. The main was done using curve objects. You can use additional curve objects to define a profile and a tapering width to a curve, making it a 3D object. It works really well for making hair objects like this.
To place the finished chapter symbol on the pauldron, I used a lattice modifier. The lattice has two shrink wrap modifiers affecting two different vertex groups, with one being offset from the surface of the pauldron by the same width as the lattice. You have to scale and rotate them a little to get the proportions right on a curved surface, but when it works, it looks great. Printing them and attaching to pauldrons is pretty finicky for sure. This is my very first Space Marine from about a year and a half ago, with new chapter and company markings. They will eventually be painted gold like the trim, but this successful test has me elated. I will likely make more heraldry videos in the future. Is there anything you'd like to see on a Space Marine's pauldron? Let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.